Okay, one of the most common um, issues that I hear about people unable to eat healthy is time. So I want to try and eliminate time as an excuse because I really want to recommend people that have issues with time to utilize a day. Um, say if you work Monday through Friday, then you'll want to utilize either, probably Sunday would be the best day. You'll want to utilize Sunday to take some time to food prep, okay? So we're going to food prep Monday through Friday. This is one of the biggest things that I suggest for people who have issues with time, or they say my kids are in sports, I work from six to six, um, I don't really have time to come home and cook, I don't really have time to prepare lunch. All right, well, let's eliminate this problem. Let's go ahead and food prep. So one thing that you can do, I know a lot of people who do my challenge groups, I offer an assortment of recipes. I offer a lot of great things that are great for families, but also a lot of great things that work out for food prep. So best friend can be your crock pot for sure. Okay, so you got your crock pot. You can make um, chicken in there. You can actually do the chicken salsa, which is just putting some chicken breasts in there, putting salsa. If you want to spice it up even more, you can do chicken, salsa, black beans, corn, and then serve that over something like quinoa or a bed of rice. You can eat that all through the week. Boring? Yes. Not time consuming? Yes. So um, that's what we want. And another suggestion is turkey burgers. Turkey burgers, you can buy ground turkey. Make yourself five patties. You can have that throughout the week and have it for lunch or dinner. You can make them fancy. I know I offer a lot of recipes in the challenge groups um, that I do that offer options of how to do a, a turkey burger and kind of dress it up a little bit to take the dryness away. Or you can totally stick with the basic and just pat it out, make a patty and throw it in the pan. Okay. Then you also have the option of just grilling some grilled chicken. Okay, put grilled chicken um, in the oven, on the grill, put whatever spices you want. Preferably you want it to be something like Mrs. Dash that's salt free. Um, and if you do apply something like barbecue sauce, you just want to make sure you put a very thin layer of barbecue sauce. You don't want to soak it in there and then you don't want to drown it with barbecue sauce afterwards. But, or you could put nothing on it and just um, serve it on top of a salad. Make five chicken breasts again. So if you made five turkey burgers, you made five chicken breasts, you just have Monday through Friday, you have a nice protein for lunch and then a nice protein for dinner, okay? So some of the things that I have around my house um, that I use for my snacks is hummus. And I have my hummus with these sweet peppers or with baby carrots or with cucumbers or any other assortment of vegetables that you like. This is a great way to get your veggies in. The next thing I have around my house for the veggies is spinach, okay? Spinach, I put a green container. If, if anybody's doing the 21 Day Fix, a green container um, is what I put of spinach into my Shakeology whenever I make my shake. So I also get my greens in there. Spinach is something you are not going to taste in your shake, I promise. Okay, so I always have these around. Um, another quick snack, say I ran out of food that week or I didn't get, um, five turkey burgers made good old tuna okay i like to get the tuna and oil which is a little more higher in calories but um for what i'm doing for my weight is just a maintenance i'm not trying to lose weight i want to gain muscle so that little bit of calories and it's a good calorie it's it's not gonna hurt me okay so you can also get tuna by itself and one great thing about tuna don't put mayonnaise in it put greek yogurt in it greek yogurt goes in everything um, I also take a single serving of Greek yogurt throw in a little bit of PB2 um, or I'll throw in a little bit of cinnamon cinnamon stir it up and it's a great snack and it takes that sourness out of it okay if you want to keep the sourness um, or they kind of keep a mayonnaise flavor it's great again to add into your tuner add into um, a chicken kind of make a chicken salad or to top on anything as a sour cream perfect okay you're eliminating a lot of fat and calories by not using sour cream and definitely not using mayonnaise all right so fruits I have grapes I have apples in my house I have a boatload of bananas because almost every morning I eat two eggs one banana and then I throw in some ground flaxseed and I stir it up till it's totally mixed and I make it like a pancake Every morning, I top it with honey and a little bit of peanut butter. That's zero carbs, and I just made myself a pancake. Then, I just went and got fresh strawberries from Huber's. Um, so, there's that. And then, my bread that I eat, I eat Ezekiel. 
um, is not very good if it's not toasted in my opinion my husband actually loves it either way um, and so does our little girl she'll eat it not toasted but I will toast it um, and it tastes perfect I don't get a cardboard taste out of it it tastes like toast if you're gonna toast regular toast another great thing that you can do um, take an avocado smash up that av avocado top it on your toast dice up a hard-boiled egg there you go there's a nice delicious snack full of a lot of protein healthy fats and then you even got a, a, a healthy carbon too um sesame seeds perfect snack easy on the go um, very easy to do so all of these things that I showed you there is no excuse that you can't take some time on Sunday sit down plan out what you're gonna eat Monday through Friday if you're that busy don't just plan out lunch go ahead and plan out dinner too there should be no excuses um, and I'm not trying to be hard on anybody because I used to have these same excuses myself I don't have time um, and now I'm finding time even though I'm even busier um, I'm doing health and fitness coaching I'm also a registered dental hygienist and I have a two-year-old um, so I still find time to make time for me and that's what's important